Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Fab Five Friday. So that means I have another fabulous five ingredient recipe for you. But before I start, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, you love five ingredient recipes, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. All right, so in addition to being fabulous and only five ingredients, this recipe is also a great way to use up leftover chicken. We're gonna be making cheesy chipotle chicken taquitos. And to get started, I've got about a cup and a half of chicken that's left over. I just had a roast chicken the other night that I made. And so I saved some of that. And I'm gonna add to this, I don't need those yet. I'm gonna add to this two chipotle peppers that are in adobo. And this is really pretty spicy. So if you're not fond of like really hot stuff, you could always swap this out and just put some salsa in here. Now this little tool I'm using here is like my favorite tool. <laughs> And just about all of my Pampered Chef products, besides my big cooking appliance. This is probably my favorite little tool that I use. This is our, well, they're called salad choppers, but obviously you can see what I'm doing with them. My favorite thing to do with them is chop meat. You can also do, you know, you can do vegetables. You can do fruit. A lot of people use it for fruit. But my favorite thing is meat because if you've ever made like a big roast, especially for like sandwiches or something, and you have to take it out of the pan and the juices are dripping and you're kind of making a mess, if you're going to make sandwiches with this, you don't even have to take it out of the pan. You just go ahead and cut it right up. So I use this for pulled pork. I use it for, you know, shredding chicken, all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the peppers, the peppers and my chicken, chicken all, chopped, all up chopped, here. chopped up here. All right. So once we have all of our peppers incorporated into our chicken, I'm going to go ahead and add in about a cup and a half of shredded cheddar cheese so it's basically just equal amounts of chicken and cheese and then depending on how hot you want it you know a couple of the peppers in the adobe so this is a really easy recipe to double so i'm just going to work this together with my hands all right then i'm just going to grab a couple of tortillas we're going to place it right down in the center and then we're just going to roll these up real nice and tight And I'm going to secure this with a toothpick. And I think this is probably going to make about six or so. Let's do another one. Okay, so I'm going to finish rolling up the rest of these. And I've got my oil heated up to, or it's on the way, to about 350 degrees. All right, I've got my taquitos all rolled up and ready to go. Now, I've got my oil here, and I'm going to guess it's around 350, 365. So we could definitely put a thermometer in here, but I'll show you a little trick. And this is the way I have always known. And it's really funny. I just do that. I just put a little bit of water in it. If it starts to sizzle and pop, then I know it's good to go. But I think uh, years, years ago, I had my hands wet, and it went over the top of the grease, and it just dawned on me then, like, that's the easiest way to check to see if it's ready. So I'm just going to fry these one at a time just because they don't take very long at all. And then that way I can really kind of control. Maybe we'll do it two at a time, maybe two. There we go. Yeah, you definitely want to be careful that you just go slinging water in a pan. But I really do find that just like the easiest way to tell when my grease is ready. All right, so again, these don't take very long at all. Less than a minute, really. And then I'm just gonna flip them on their other side. So I have got a plate over here with a couple of paper towels lined up on it. But to be honest, I really don't like to do it this way. I feel like it kind of, you know, you took all the time to make it nice and crunchy and then you put it on here or nice and crispy. And then you put it on here and it's kind of sitting in its own oil that it fried in. So what I like to do is usually put it on like a cooling rack. Something where the grease the, the can grain away. <laughs> the grease can drain away. All right, so I'm going to put two more in. And if I didn't tell you, I got about a half an inch of oil in here. Oops. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish frying these. All right, our taquitos are done, and they are beautiful. I think anything deep fried cheesy is beautiful. <laughs> All right, so let's cut into one of these. Oh, and the other day, since I was prepping everything for the chicken, I went ahead and made up some pico de gallo but i also thought today what would be even better is to have some pico de gallo and some salsa verde so i'm going to try to post those videos along with this one and so 
So, so good. Again, it's just one of these recipes that has so much flavor for just five ingredients. So if you guys haven't made these before, definitely give these a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye.